Oh hey, you totally just caught me making matcha. <laughs> hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to another video. And yeah, I'm just making some matcha. I've got some exciting news coming up, but... <laughs> well, not coming up, I'm telling you right now. I have started messaging manufacturers in Japan to start my own matcha brand. <laughs> Which is freaking insane. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this, if it's even gonna work or not. Um, but we're starting, we're trying to make our own business. Um, just see what happens. It's gonna be a long process. I think it's gonna take like probably over a year maybe before I even get my own match right there, but uh, it's just gonna be so exciting. And anyway, I just wanted to show you this because my match is gonna be top quality, baby. This is one that I just got in. Bali. It's called premium grade matcha. Not ceremonial, but it was the only one I could find and I was really desperate. So I got it anyway. It still tastes not too bad, but... Oh, oh no, just look at that. Oh. That's like a prep matcha. It's so gross. This isn't even culinary matcha. This is premium grade matcha. making ceremonial matcha. So yeah, I've just been up to all sorts of stuff really. I've been seeing a lot of friends, you know, um, been swimming in the Hampstead Heath ponds and sunbathing whilst the weather was still hot. <laughs> we didn't have many hot days, but I've been teaching my friends some Qigong in the park. Yeah, just having some nice park days. My friend from the course is an air hostess and she came over to London. We went to Regent's Park and Primrose Hill and we had lovely pizza. There's a beautiful vegan restaurant called Pureza. It makes the best vegan pizzas ever. <laughs> so it was nice to see her again. Slightly warm water. So yeah, I'm super excited to be starting my own match journey. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And ideally it would be like a coffee alternative company, so I would also have my own brand of cacao in my shop and maybe like a mushroom latte. It should be so fun. <laughs> I mean, you know I love my matcha and cacao, so it's actually perfect for me. So I'm messaging matcha farms in Japan and yeah, they'll send me over some samples of different grades of their matcha. I'm just gonna like taste test a whole bunch because <laughs> If I'm making a matcha product, it is going to be top quality for sure. Like, it might be quite expensive matcha, but <laughs> I'm going to make sure that we get good quality matcha. I'm kind of looking in the regions of Uji in Kyoto. Yeah, Let's see what I like best. Okay, and now this is the ceremonial stuff. You can pretty see the difference. It's like mad. And it frothed up loads better as well. Which matcha would you rather drink? <laughs> it's crazy. This is what you want in a matcha. And unfortunately, this is what you get sometimes in a cafe. Like in the hot drinks as well, they'll usually just be that kind of matcha. Let's give it a taste test. It's amazing what they can get away with calling the matcha. I would not call this premium. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it tastes better than than the culinary matcha, so. And I would never buy culinary matcha. I'm not a savage. <laughs> but there's just so much difference between matcha qualities, even the ceremonial stuff. There's some brands that claim to be ceremonial and they're not as good as this one. To be honest, I'm probably not even gonna finish that. <laughs> I'm just gonna drink this one. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> this makes me happy. Mm. It's a good matcha when it's smooth, like velvety, doesn't taste like grass. You've got a nice bright neon green colour, froths nicely, and oh, this is like bomb. So I'm actually meeting a subscriber today, which is mad because this guy messaged me when I only had like 250 subscribers and become friends and um, yeah I'm gonna see him for the first time today. I'm gonna go to Kew Gardens and um, Richmond and it should be a good day. Yeah, which is exciting. It's another reason why I love doing YouTube and um, I think YouTube is so cool. <laughs> yeah, even though it's it's hard sometimes, for sure it's hard. 
and it's a lot of work and it's hard to see the payoff like a lot of my videos just get 100 views or whatever and it's quite sad <laughs> but you know youtube has a lot of upsides as well like and i love doing it anyway so <laughs> that's the most important thing <sighs> Man, i do wish i was back in indonesia though i actually had a bit of anxiety on the plane going back to london just like wasn't feeling it anyway <laughs> this is gonna be a nice fun little cute london vlog or whatever Kew Gardens is a botanical gardens in West London. I really love it here because it feels like you are completely out of the city. <laughs> Don't fall over. And we had a great day. We were blessed with the weather and were able to have a beautiful lunch outside with a gorgeous view. <laughs> and it does not feel like you're in London at all. It is just like beautiful, lush nature and scenery. They have these enormous greenhouses filled with all sorts of tropical plants. And I do find learning about plants really interesting, even though I am really bad with remembering the names. <laughs> oh. And then it was on to Richmond Park, which is a beautiful deer park. took a stroll down the canal where we were able to catch the most beautiful sunset. So cool. Oh, my baby. It's so sad he's gone. Lombok. <laughs> I protest. I love that sheep photo that I took. Oh, my cow. Uh, yeah, these are all ones from my Shigong quilts. <laughs> oh, hilarious. I love it, it's so cute. It's my birthday today. I'm 27 today. Sweet. <laughs> so my parents were in town because we are going to Greece and my mum loves Covent Garden. I saw a new matcha bar, which was exciting. <laughs> and then we just went shopping. I got some new clothes for my birthday. birthday lunch <laughs> and it was really good I've literally just spilt strawberries and cream matcha right down my crotch so it looks like I pissed myself <laughs> it's actually so embarrassing oh my god okay hey guys so this wall has been blank for too long I'm gonna change that today. I've got a load of these um, like nice little Polaroid things. So I was thinking of decorating it just by popping them up. Does it look good? Yeah, it looks good. If it doesn't look aesthetic, I'm gonna be annoyed. I wanna be high all the time.
Okay, that is gonna have to do for today because I'm going to the park now and I'll finish this off later. <laughs> Got so many photos left. It's really cool though. I'm actually kind of liking how it's looking so far. A new planty look plant. I also got a new one of these bad boys, which I just love hanging down. And I got these. I don't know what they are, but they look like little cactus things. And yeah, they're cute just to go the other side. Yeah, I love it. girls on the Qigong course got me this beautiful like turtle. I love it so much. I'm just gonna pop that. Sweet. Maxi333 with 333 subscribers. How freaking cool is that? <laughs> I told you I would get 333s but even the average view duration on this one is 333. <laughs> That's just like crazy. Thank you for 333 subscribers. Obviously, it's not even like that many subscribers, but I just love the number 333. It's like such a special number for me. And the universe has just been showing me like 333 everywhere recently, which is just crazy and cool. And yeah, thank you if you are one of the 333 subscribers. I've been saying 333 so much. <laughs> and yeah, I even saw 3333 the other day as well, so that's crazy. Another 3333. Okay, I'll end the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll just leave you thinking about three things that you are grateful for. Gratitude is one of the highest vibrational states that we can be in. So it's a great little exercise to do every day. For example, I am grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for my friends and my family. And I'm grateful for a home and a nice warm bed. And I'm grateful to drink clean water. Why has he got crazy heart? And I'm grateful for cacao and matcha and everything that makes me happy. Peace. <laughs>